Hello. Right, what we're going to be looking at today is one physical feature of the uplands. I'm going to be zooming in on the Pennines, so the English northern England, and that one feature is on the screen there. It's called a fault scarp. OK, so what we've got so far is we know now that the rocks in and around the English Pennines, some of the mountains in the uplands, were originally underwater. So the bottom there, you've got that coral that's made the great, the great scar limestone. Above there, you've got the sand and the, the shale. And above that, too, you've got this uh, sandstone made by uh, deltas, the millstone grit. Now, tectonic activity, hopefully you can see by my arrows, is pushing that whole plate up. So the mantle's going up and round, up and round, up and round. It's consolidating that rock. It was sedimentary. Now it's metamorphic because it's been crushed and heated, but it's also pushing the whole land mass up. It was below the water. Now it's around about 300 meters above the water. Hopefully you can see, though, it's also changing the shape of the land. The land is becoming small hills, smallish mountains, sorry, large hills. The pressure's not stopping there, though. It's going up and up and up and up until actually snap. Now, a snap in geography is called an earthquake. Boom, there's a focus, and it's going to actually happen repeatedly. But here it is on your screen. You can see one half has snapped and gone up. The other half actually in plate tectonics, there might have been an aftershock, it's going to dip back down. And so we get left with this cliff or in that we call a fault scarp. OK, now that is a classic uplands feature as a result of tectonic activity. And the examiner is going to just love you to say the keywords. So convection currents, uplift, uh, a line of weakness, a fault, snap, an earthquake and a focus. And then you get left with this scarp. Um, the, the angles are still pretty much horizontal. The slight angles of dip on one side or the other, but it's left you here with this very, very sort of classic cliff. This one in particular is called the Giggle Wicks, Giggleswick Scar. I'm hoping this has been useful.